Amen. And so if you're here, if you're listening, if you're going about to hear what she's about to say, it's because God has ordained it from the foundation of the world to give you insight and wisdom that you would not receive any place else in the earth. And so begin to give God praise, begin to magnify him, begin to exalt him, amen, for that which he's about to say through his servant, our apostle, Dr. Joyce E. Scott. Come on, give the Lord praise as she comes to minister the word this morning. Glory to God. Glory to God. Come on, let's just continue. Amen. To give him a real good praise today. Ooh, glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The important, amen, what's so important is that we worship him. Amen. That we give him the praise that is due. Amen. There's, there are things today that as we stop and take a look at the word of God, I want us to seriously, seriously think about what you are hearing. Amen. I want you to seriously think about what am I hearing? What am I doing with it? Amen. Am I taking this? Amen. And am I going to practice what I hear? There's so many things. Uh, hear me again, and, and, and I say this week after week after week, because there's so many things that are happening that is trying to draw our attention. Amen. So many things that are happening that we have to be careful that we are not going to be distracted. Amen. Are you, are you listening? Amen. So what did I just say? That we are not going to be distracted and that is a decision that we have to make amen hallelujah what did I just say that is a decision that we have to make I refuse to be distracted amen and so many times that's a fight said many times that's a fight hallelujah because of what is taking place amen let's just give him another praise amen come on let's just worship let's worship him let's worship him amen hallelujah give him thanks wherever you are in whatever it is whatever place that you find yourself this morning I want you to worship him right there. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What did I just say? Yes. Where it is that you find yourself, those who are listening this morning, amen, wherever you are, wherever you may be right now, amen, I want you, amen, as your hands are raised this morning, giving God the praise, giving God the glory, thanking him for the victory, praising him, amen, that you are a winner, Amen. Praising him that he never leaves you, that he never forsakes you. Praising him, amen, because you know, hallelujah, that he's there with you. Come on and give him another shout as we welcome the presence of the Holy Spirit this morning. Hallelujah. Father, we just want to say thank you. We give you all glory. We want to say thank you. We give you all praise. We thank you for your word this morning. No weapon that is formed against us, it cannot prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you for speaking to our hearts. We thank you, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that you give us the boldness to stand, the wisdom in Jesus' name to carry out the mandates and the assignments that you have placed on our lives. 
We want to say thank you for your healing power that flows through this room this morning in the name of Jesus because you said that by the stripes of Jesus, we were healed. And so we thank you, Lord God, for those that are listening this morning that, Lord God, you touch their bodies in the name of Jesus. We thank you for deliverance. Glory to God. Salvation for those who do not know you. Ha. Glory. 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 To your name. Come on and give God a praise this morning. Hallelujah. Come on and give him a real praise this morning. Glory, glory, glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us turn this morning. You can be seated. Let us turn this morning. Amen. Those of you that are listening, have your Bibles out, that are home. Amen. And you are with us. Um, and make sure you have your Bibles and pen and tablet and Amen. Make sure you're jotting down your, your notes. Amen. We're going to go back to Joshua 1 and 8. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate in it day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Hallelujah. Amen. Did you hear that? Amen. So there are, again, instructions that the Spirit of the Lord is giving to us. And he's telling Joshua, look, Joshua, there are going to be things, in other words, that may be happening around you. There may be things that are going to be going on all around you because you have an assignment and a mandate on your life. So don't let this book. Amen. Of the law, it, don't let it depart from out of your mouth. And meanwhile, while I'm reading this, uh, uh, turn to Proverbs 4 and 20. Amen. Just hold your hand there. Glory to God. I can't express enough. The Sometimes, if we're not careful, we don't realize how how much words you may really have. You may not realize the importance of even what you carried. I'm going to say it again. See, I want you to realize that how powerful the word that you have and the word that you are getting, how important it really is and how powerful it is in your life. Sometimes you may not realize how much, amen, by you speaking the word of God, what's being broken, what's being moved away, amen, and what it's bringing in your life. And so he's saying to, he's saying to Joshua, amen, don't let it depart. Hallelujah. From out of your mouth. Oh, glory to God. Are, are you listening? Don't let it. Amen. This book, hallelujah, of the law shall not depart from out of your mouth, Joshua. Whew. I want you to take a minute and think about it. You mean it's that powerful in my mouth? That God is saying, don't let it depart from out of your mouth. How many know that it can depart from out of your mouth? How many know that you can stop talking it and speaking it? 
Mm -hmm. It's the truth. That you can start talking and sounding just like the world. That you can start talking and saying everything that everybody else is saying. And God is carefully, amen, giving him. He said, look, don't let it depart from out of your mouth because, amen. Then he's saying, if you don't, this is what it's going to do. But thou shalt meditate. Mm. So there's a place that we meditate. Thou shalt meditate in it day and night. Many of your fight is, is, is about keeping the word of God from out of your life. Mm-hmm. Are you listening? A lot of the fight that you're going through that you think is this and you think is that, but if you are one that presses towards staying in the word and getting in the word, a lot of your fight is about trying to pull you and get you distracted from the word of God because something really takes place. Mm. Oh, glory to God. See, <laughs> you know, let me, let, let me say this again, and just to remind you that we are spirits living in a natural world. Oh, my. I want you to take the time and think about this. I want you to think about this. My word is spirit. And they are like to those who find them. You are a spirit living in a natural world. Hallelujah. We are clothed in a natural body. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. So we must understand this is something that is very, very important for you. Where am I about to say? We must understand authority. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If a believer does not understand authority, there can be no firm grasp of God's kingdom on the earth. Hallelujah. If a believer doesn't understand authority, there can be no firm grasp of God's kingdom on the earth. Hallelujah. 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 So we have this foul. Just for a moment, many times and think, authority. Can you say it with me? Authority. Can you say it? Authority. authority. But what are we talking about when we say authority? Authority is the legal and delegated right and exercising mastery over an area or domain. Amen. I want you to hear me. Because if we don't understand authority, there can be no firm grasp of God's kingdom on the earth. Joshua, keep my word in your mouth. Keep it 
in your mouth. Hallelujah. Don't let it depart. Hallelujah. Meditate, Joshua. This is how important this is. Amen. So meditate in it day and night that thou may have observed to do according to all that is written therein. Because this is what it's going to do when you do that, Joshua. For then thou shall make thy way prosperous. I've got to understand the power of the word in my mouth. No, he's saying, then thou shalt make thy way prosperous. Then thou shalt have good success. I've got to understand, amen, the authority. What is it again? It is the legal and delegated right and exercise, mastery over an area or domain. The kingdom of God was in place before the world was ever created. kingdom was in place before the world was ever created. Hallelujah. Come on, give him a praise. So we have to know that God always has been. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Always will be. Hallelujah. Are you listening? Come on, let's give let's give the Lord a praise. Come on, let's give the Lord a praise. Come on. Not God because of humanity. He was God way before. He was God always. Hallelujah. Can you give him another shout? So, so, you know, again, there has never been a time, nor will there be ever be a time when the kingdom of God did not exist. Mm. Hallelujah. Are you here? The word kingdom means God's domain. Amen. Or the king rules. Hallelujah. Kingdom does not exist without a king. Let's give him another praise. I said, let's give him a praise. Joshua, Joshua, Joshua. And, and it, again, and, and I, can't, I can't express this. I can't express this enough. The reality of the word of God. And what, because if we get religious with all of this, we will miss the whole thing. Amen. Proverbs 4 and 20. My son, attend to my words. Consent and submit to my saying. Again, we go right back. And he's saying it, my son, my son attend to my words. Do you know a lot of the fight is about applying the scripture? Whew. Do you hear what he's saying? Go ahead. Let them not depart from your sight. Keep them. Don't let my words. Don't let my words depart 
from your sight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't let it depart. Joshua, keep it in your mouth. Therefore, meditate on it. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor seated in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in what? Yeah. Hallelujah. His delight is in the law. He delights in that. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law, does he meditate day and night? And he shall be, listen, like a tree planted. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. And he shall be. Glory to God. Don't let it. Don't let it depart. Don't let it depart. And so I feel to, to really, really say this today. Amen. Hallelujah. I, will, I, feel, real to, uh, I feel to say it the importance of it, and that we might see what it really does. Because religion will blind you. Religion will make you feel, will do something with a religious head. But it has no power to it. Glory to God. Come on, let's give him a praise. Come on, let's give him a praise. See, because the, the thing that we need to realize, uh, again, how we think is based on core beliefs. Amen. That's been established. What did I just say? The way how we think is based on core beliefs that's been established. You process information, amen, based on, now listen to how you process, amen. You process information based on core beliefs, and these core beliefs were formed before you ever got born again, and most of them are contrary to what God says. So most of that stuff is th those core beliefs, amen. Are, many of those core beliefs are, are, amen, not based on this word. Joshua, this is what you got to do. You've got to meditate on this. <laughs> uh huh. You, you got to, you, you, Joshua, you've got to do this day and night because a lot of the stuff that we don't understand that we've been believing those core beliefs. <clears throat> Nothing to do, the very contrary to what the word of God says. But if you'll take my word and, you'll, and you don't let it leave your sight and you keep it in your mouth, then you're going to make your way. Ooh, people are talking about success. People are talking about this and that. He said, look, this is what to do. Come on, give him another praise. I said, come on, give him a real good praise. See, the thing is that we have to be careful about, yeah, they're contrary to uh, what God says, but they are still, and they are still many times controlling And these core beliefs have to be changed. Again, you're going to find them. I'm going to keep going back to what, uh -huh. these core beliefs have to be changed. Don't let it leave you. Don't, don't let it. 
Don't let it leave your sight. Mm -hmm. Keep it before you. Keep it before you. Keep it in, keep it before you. Because there are things all around that saying other things. The things all around that's supposed to pull you in and suck you in. But keep my word. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Keep my word before you. There are all kinds of distractions that want to say that's telling you the opposite. But keep my word. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Because I've got to remember. I'm a spirit living in a natural world. Hallelujah. And when my spirit speaks the word of God, that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Mm. Hallelujah. We need to give him a praise. All of the misinformed information, and I want you to remember this, all of the misinformed information has to be uprooted. What did I just say? All of the misinformed information has to be uprooted. Let's go to 2 Corinthians 10, 3 and 4. For though we walk, live in the flesh, we are not carrying on our warfare according to the flesh mm. and using mere human weapons. Say, read it again. Listen carefully. For though we walk, mm. live in the flesh, we are not carrying on our warfare according to the flesh uh -huh. and using mere human weapons. And using mere human weapons. For the weapons of our warfare are not physical weapons of flesh and blood, Ooh. but they are mighty before God for the overthrow and the destruction of strongholds. For the o for the what? For the <laughs> overthrow and now listen for the overthrow and the destruction of strongholds of strongholds. Ooh. Hallelujah. So when we talk about strongholds, what are we talking about here? What really are we talking about when we talk about to the overthrow of strongholds? So what is a stronghold? Strongholds are mental thought patterns. Mm-hmm that have you trapped. Uh-huh. What is it? A stronghold is what? They are mental thought patterns. I'm going to say it again. They are mental thought patterns that have you How many thoughts, amen, that actually have you trapped? Mm -hmm. Ooh. So with that in mind, I want you to read it one more time for me. With that in mind. For though we walk, live in the flesh, we are not carrying on our warfare according to the flesh and using mere human weapons. For the weapons of our warfare are not physical weapons of mm. flesh and blood, mm -hmm. but they are mighty before God. They're what? Mighty before God. Uh -huh. For the overthrow. For what? For the overthrow mm -hmm. and destruction of strongholds. 
Are you seeing something here? Amen. So, a stronghold or mental thought patterns mm -hmm, that have you trapped. Thought patterns that keep you from working on the principles of faith. Mm -hmm. That do what? That keep you from working on the principles of faith. Because these thoughts, these strongholds, amen, have you trapped. Amen. Have you trapped. Come on, let's give the Lord a shout. See, things that Patterns that keep you from doing what you should do. Amen. I can cast down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Amen. Amen. Psychology sometimes has a way of, of many times entrenching itself in a man's mind and taking him away from the truth, amen, of Christ. Amen. It can pull you away from spiritual, it can, it can pull you away from spiritual reality. Amen. With this Colossians, I've been reading it over and over. Amen. Because, amen, getting throne room realities, the truth. Amen. Come on, let's, let's, let's just stop for a moment and give him a, a, a shout of praise. Amen. So philosophy can pull you away from truth. Hallelujah. Amen. It can take you away from the truth of the word. Amen. Give him one more praise. Colossians, let's go there. 2, 6, and 10. We're not going to be much longer. Amen. Come on, let's give him a praise. Let's do that. Colossians 2, uh -huh, go ahead. Colossians 2, 6, uh -huh, down to, uh, start with the 6th verse down to the 10th. Mm -hmm. As you have therefore received Christ, even Jesus the Lord, so walk, regulate your lives, and conduct yourselves in a union with and conformity to him. Have the roots of your beings firmly and deeply planted in him. Have your roots, amen, of your being. Have it what? Have the roots of your beings firmly. Firmly. Uh-huh. And firmly. deeply. And deeply. Planted. Uh-huh. In him. Mm -hmm. Fixed and founded in him. Being continually built up in him becoming increasingly and more confirmed and established in the faith, mm -hmm. just as you were taught and abounding and overflowing in it with thanksgiving. See to it that no one carries you off as spoils or make you yourselves captive by his so-called philosophy. Ah, uh, there we go. And intellectualism mm -hmm. and vain deceit. Mm -hmm. following human traditions, mm -hmm. men's ideas of material mm -hmm. rather than the spiritual world, being crude, notious following the rudimentary and elemental teaching of the universe and disregarding the teaching of Christ, the mm -hmm. Messiah. Uh -huh. Let me tell you something. Philosophy 
if we, uh, for, uh, uh, philosophy many times can be a man's religion. Uh-huh. Are you, are, are you hearing me? It can be a man's religion. So we have to be careful because you never let the devil explain to you what God means. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, let's give him a let's give him a real good praise today. Hallelujah. Come on, give him a real good praise. See, so again, the importance, when I get a hold of God's will and purpose, his plan for my life, it helps me usually to locate where I am not. Do you hear what I said? Amen. Amen. Have you ever found... You're finding the will of God for your life, the plan of God for your life. And, 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 what, and have you ever found that, wow, you, it, it, it located you to where you are not. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. To what you are not doing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. See, because it, it usually, you, you, it, finding the will, and the, 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 it's just like, you know, uh, Lord, this is what I, I, I want to preach, but I don't want to go here. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. And the Lord said, no, you're called to the world. You're called to the nations. Oh. See, I was finding, amen, years ago, years and years ago, amen, the will and the plan of God. Oh. Amen. I was finding where I'm not. I had other plans. Anybody ever found you have other plans? And God is saying, no, 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 that's not mine. That's yours. <laughs> that's what you want. That's not, no, that's not, that's, that's not what you were born to do. Yes, yes, Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. You say, oh, 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 no, 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 no. You were in the wrong lane. <laughs> Hallelujah. Come on, let's give him a, again a, a can you give him a praise? Can you give him a praise? So you're usually finding out where you are not. Amen. That you are not doing, amen, many times what God's called you to do. Come on, give him a, one more shout. Hallelujah. So I'm, you, you, uh, many times again, where I'm not walking. Amen. It shows again, amen. You know, the performance, the, the, the way I'm performing. Amen. It's, 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 it, it shows me my dysfunctional ways. Uh-oh. Mm-hmm. Are you listening? The state I'm in. Anybody ever seen the state you in? Mm-hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, give him a praise. So I have to understand that God's plan is better, amen, than I've been operating out of. I have to understand that his plan is better, amen, from what you've been operating out of. His plan is better. Glory. Give him one more shout. I said give him one more shout. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tell somebody, he's got a better plan for me. Amen. So, amen, because uh, 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 again, I have to be willing. Here's the thing. This is something that I really want you to hear. One of the things that are so very important is that we've got to be willing to change. Did you hear me? Amen. You got to be willing to change. So I have to put forth an effort to change. What, what do I have to do? I have to put forth an effort to change. 
Woo. Hallelujah. Amen. And so, again, you know, it, it, it is it's so important that I understand during this time, during this time, there are things that I need to remember. There are things I don't need to forget. There are things, amen, that, hey, you know, you're making a lot of change now, whether you want to or not. Amen. Oh, you hear me? Amen. You can't go into certain places without the mask. Be mask. There are changes, 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 changes. So I say, oh, I don't even feel the same anymore. Because there are so many changes. God has a plan, but I've got to be willing, amen, to change. Once I put that effort, I can depend. Once I, and, 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 and again, I want you to hear me. I put forth the effort, something happens again, because I can depend on the power of God and the principles that release the power of God to help me in this change. Hallelujah. What did I just say? Then, once I'm willing, once I'm willing and begin to put forth the effort, then I can depend on the power of God to help me. Hallelujah. Look at somebody say, I can depend on the power of God, but I've got to be willing to change and I've got to be willing to put forth the effort to change. Then the power of God, amen, is released to help me. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. To help me. Make this change in my life. Who? See, these are the things, amen, I want you to hear. These are the things that I want you, you know, so you say, well, I'm just, I don't know, I can, I can do it. No, no, mm -mm. I just got to be willing to do it. I've got to be willing to put forth the effort to do it. But then the power of God, once I get in that place, amen, then the power of God is released to help me. Hallelujah. Come on, give him a praise as your hands are raised this morning. And just give him praise that, Lord, I'm willing to make the change that I need to make. Hallelujah. I'm willing. I want your plan. I want your plan. I want to care. D the purpose of God. Amen. But I've got to be willing. Hallelujah. The power of God is released to help me in this change. Hallelujah. There are principles of authority. There are principles of faith. There are principles of the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Principles of meditation. Glory to God. I can depend on those principles. I want you to hear me. I can do what? I can depend, glory, on those principles to release the power of God to help me in my effort of change. I'm going to say this again because, again, there are principles of authority. Amen. Principles of faith. 
principles of the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Principles of meditation. I can, you can depend on those principles. Hallelujah. To release, come on church, the power of God to help you in the effort of change. Give him a praise. I said give him a praise. I said give him a praise. Hallelujah. In, um, in Romans, and we're going to get ready to wrap it up. In Romans 3, 27. Where is boasting then? It is excluded by what law of works? Nay. But by the law of faith, the Bible declares it to be a law. Amen. Hallelujah. It works devoid of emotion. Hallelujah glory. Hallelujah. Gender. Uh -oh. Nationality. Location. And opposition. Faith is consistent as gravity and can be relieved, up, relied upon all of the time. Get that what I just said. It can be relied upon all the time. Mm. Hallelujah. It can be what? Come on, let's give him one more shout, one more praise. It can be relied upon all the time. Of the time. Let's give God another shout. I said a lot of things this morning. It's very important. Not trying to not trying to preach. Mm -mm. Trying to lay this out because if it's anything that we need, sometimes we're looking for the heights and the up and the up. And we do nothing with it. Amen. But I want us to really absolutely understand, once again, what we have been given. Nothing to do with religion. Amen. Understanding, amen, that I've got to be willing to make this change. I've got to be willing to put forth the effort. And the power is released to help me. Look at somebody and say, then the power is released to help me. Hallelujah. Make that change. Come on, give him a praise. I say, come on and give him a praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Faith is real, absolutely real. Once again, and remembering this, and I haven't really gotten on this in the way that I'm going to, but I want to. I'm, I'm laying a certain foundation, and you know that we are spirit. Living in a natural world, there is so much about just that. Amen. I'm a spirit. <laughs> Living in a natural world, you are a spirit. Some things we got to almost sit down and just say, I just, I just want to think about, because a lot of people think of themselves as a body. Body is literally just my clothing. 
of my spirit. Ooh. That's why it is so important that you, and I, 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 I'm, I'm going to get there. Because getting this, amen, you know, again, a lot of us think about ourselves, I'm a body in the earth. No, 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 no. And so I, I want you to sometimes just sit down and think, I'm a spirit. Living in a natural world. His word is spirit. The devil is a spirit. Huh. That's why we don't fight the same way. Amen. God is spirit. <laughs> Man shall not live by food alone, but by every word. I got to take the time to feed the real me. I don't want to go there. I don't want to go there yet. I'm just, I'm just talking a little bit. <laughs> I promise you I'm going to go there. When I go there, I'm going to, ooh. <laughs> oh, that's one of my subjects. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm in this world, but I'm not of it. <laughs> you ain't of it. Hallelujah. You are passing through. Glory to God. This is not your home. Come on, y'all, stop. This <laughs> <laughs> you be like, I, I don't, the next thing I know, I don't, I be done preach the message. <laughs> oh, another <laughs> message. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. Because if I get on that, whoo! left here <laughs> it's, it's, it's one of my favorite my whew, good God oh I'm telling you I'm telling you I'm telling you amen when we just really know who we are and what we really have whoo Lord Jesus Oh, my God, my God, my God. And move from out of that place. Okay, y'all. Okay, I'm going to stop. <laughs> I'm going to get on that. We're going to hit that thing, and we're going to hit it strong. Amen. And I, I, like I said, I don't know. We might just be going out of here. Be like, wait a minute. <laughs> you know, we go. Where'd they go? <laughs> they took a little journey, but we'll be coming back. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. It is so, it is, I, I feel like it is the most powerful thing to understand where we came from. And the reality of it, that it is just that real. Amen. That's who we are. And God is wanting that. And you, you're talking about the right time. And realizing all that is really taking place, all that is really happening, and operating from out of that place with wisdom and understanding is powerful. Hallelujah. We have so much, and we've been given everything. Religion has tried to smother it. And remove the power. Hallelujah. And so we have to, we have to understand this. God's not just saying stuff to make us feel good. No, he means what he says. Says what he means. Hallelujah. So we, 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 we're moving towards that real soon. Amen. Real, real soon. Amen. And I'm telling you, it's awesome. It's awesome. This is that. This just you know, it's where God is. He's been talking to me 
a lot about. Amen. Hallelujah. And so as we stand to our feet and we worship God this morning, let us just take the time just for a moment to worship him. Ooh. Hallelujah. Think about it. Think about it. Those of you that are maybe listening, that have listened this morning with us, we stand with you in faith, believing for your healing, believing for, amen, your deliverance. And those that of you that may not be born again, all you have to do is say, Jesus, come into my life. Forgive me for my sins. Save me. Wash me. Cleanse me by the blood of the Lamb. I promise you, he will come. Amen. You can do that right now. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you in Jesus' name as we pray for those who are sick. Thank you for touching their bodies. Thank you for your healing power flowing in Jesus' name. We give you praise for healing now by the stripes of Jesus. Ye were healed in Jesus' name. So we praise you, Lord. We praise you. Hallelujah. Come on and help me worship the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. Come on, come on, come on. Come on and give him praise. The highest praise. Hallelujah. 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 Glory, glory. Hallelujah. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. Glory. Come on, let's just go there. Let's just go in his presence. Hallelujah. That's who we need. That's where we need to be. Right there in his presence. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You can depend on him. Woo, glory. He watches over his word to perform it in your life. Hallelujah. 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 Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. I give you praise. I give you glory. Come on. 
come on. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. And as your hands are raised, I promise you this. He's there. He will touch, heal, and deliver. Glory to God. And as we continue in that place of praise. Hallelujah. Just stay right there. Just stay right there. I love him and I praise him. Thank him for his goodness. I thank him for his love, his mercy, and his kindness. Hallelujah. He's with you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Think about it. Think about it. Come on. Come on. Go there with him this morning. and glory. Power! He's mighty. Hallelujah. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. All praise. All praise. All praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Come on. Let your praises go out before our living God. Woo! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus. Let the praises go into every household. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, let it take it up. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. There's something about praise. The power of God comes. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give him praise this morning. I said we give him praise this morning. That wherever you may be this morning, hallelujah, know that God will meet you right there. Hallelujah, that he is a healer, a deliverer. Oh, glory. Hallelujah, the king of kings is right there. Hallelujah, as we give him the glory, as we give him the praise. Hallelujah, just release your faith this morning. Hallelujah, and trust and know. He said, I watch over my word to perform it. And we just want to dedicate even just the, you know, just the speaking to the nations this morning. Amen. That we're praying for you. Amen. Churches in Liberia, churches in South Africa, my sons, my daughters. Hallelujah. Mm. Haiti. Glory. Hallelujah. As I said, all over South Africa. Hallelujah. Nigeria. Glory. Ghana. Hallelujah. We're just standing in faith. Glory. Knowing that God is there, that God is with you. All of the pastors around the world. Hallelujah. God is with you. God strengthens you. Oh, encourages you that we are more than conquerors. Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Ooh, come on, give him a shout of praise. Come on, give him a shout. Come on. Come on. Let the praises go up this morning. I just feel in my spirit that I just want to praise him this morning. Who glory to God. Hallelujah. I just want to praise him for his goodness. I want to praise him for his, his grace, his kindness, and his mercy. Come on, y'all. I want to praise him this morning. Woo, glory be to God. Hallelujah. And if you're at home, praise him with us. Woo, glory. 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 Glory in the midst of all that's going on. In the midst of all that is happening. Who glory to God. I just want to praise him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's good. And he said he would never, never leave us. Hallelujah. So those of you that are have been watching, continue to watch with us. Continue to stay with us. We will see you the next time. Amen. Love, peace, and joy. God bless you. Woo, glory. Thank you so much for joining us. And on behalf of Apostle Joy C. Scott and Pastor Joy D. Scott, we'd like to invite you back here again for Sunday morning service at 11 a.m. for Break It Down Wednesdays at 8 p.m. right here on nlmionline.org. Glory!